Hey everyone, so I wanted to do a little haul today of some different cloth diapering supplies that I picked up. I went to Tuesday morning recently and grabbed a few things, so I just wanted to share it with you all. The first is the Babyville Boutique Easy Adjust Tape, and it is hook and loop tape that is um, wider than normal hook and loop tape. And um, yeah, it's supposed to be really good for cloth diapers, and it was the only one there, so I went ahead and grabbed it to try it out. Um, and it comes with one yard of the loop part and half a yard of the hook part because you need more of the loop portion to make cloth diapers. So um, it was originally $3.49, and I got it for $0.99, cents, and I'm going to be giving this a try soon on a cloth diaper. The next thing I got was Babyville Boutique Fold Over Elastic. I did already have a couple packages of this that I haven't used yet, but this was the last one and I really liked the colors on it. Um, it was originally $6.99 and I got it for $1.99. And um, I want to try making a different style of diaper that uses this along the outer edge um, as opposed to the style I made and showed in a previous video that I'll link below. Um, I just want to try out some different stuff, see what I like the most, see what you know is most cost efficient and just you know just try out some different types of cloth diapers and see what what I like the best. And then um, next I got two fabric glue sticks. I've never had fabric glue sticks before. I went ahead and grabbed two because they were originally $2.49 and I got them for $0.79. Cents. And I, the reason I got them was because on the first diaper I made it had you glue the, uh, like the waterproofing layer to the outer fabric to keep it from sliding around when you sew it. And I actually used a regular glue stick because that's all I had, and I'm not sure how great that is. Um, I don't know. It was a non-toxic glue stick. I made sure of that. But I haven't washed it yet, so I don't know how it will act in the wash. But um, since I am wanting to make several more cloth diapers, I figured it was a good idea to go ahead and get the real deal. Um, so that way just in case everything will work out. So those are the things I grabbed at Tuesday morning. The reason I actually went was to try to find PUL, which is the polyurethane lining that is typically used on cloth diapers, and they were out. But a fantastic viewer of mine who had picked some up previously actually sent me an entire box of PUL. Um, I don't know if she wants me to say her name, so I won't say it just to be safe. Um, but that was so, so, so nice of her, and I really, really appreciate it. So now I have plenty of PUL to make my diapers from for the baby, and um, I'm just super excited to start working with it. I have everything I need to make all the cloth diapers in the world, or well, not all, but you know, a lot. Um, except time. I need to find the time, but that will happen soon. So I am so excited. Ah, an entire box of PUL fabric. Yay! So I will be starting on these. Um, I don't know, I might make one or two pretty soon. And then after the craft fair is over next month, then I'm really going to get started on them and make a ton of them and yeah so um that's it for my haul let me know if you want another like pregnancy cloth diaper update um i know a lot of people seem to like the last one so i figured i could do another one if you all wanted it and yeah that is it for today just wanted to share what i got really quick and i hope you all are having a great day bye